Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota in Madison, Wisconsin. Today's vehicle video, this 2022 Toyota RAV4 XLE Hybrid. Color on this one is Blueprint. Today's video, we're gonna dive inside, check out the interior, but let's get started on the outside first. So up front on the XLE edition for 2022, there is a new headlight uh, design assembly. Same elements that we saw in the 2021, they're just rearranged a little bit. In 2022, the daytime running lights are up here. Last year, they were down here. They're all LED lights, same projector style uh, driving lights with high beams and low beam uh, LED as well. And then as we wrap around the corner, there's an LED marker lamp here on the side. And then on the XLE edition, the LED turn signals with the chrome bezels here on the side as well. So a nice new look, more of a refined look for 2022. Not a major change, but just a little bit. There's no fog lights on the XLE edition, so these down here are just faux vents. And they do offer an accent light that can be installed by the dealer as well. The lower part of the bumper is the uh, ABS uh, plastic, which of course is scratch and dent resistant. Pretty easy to replace too if you do pick up a, a crack or, or a uh, major scratch or something like that. The hybrid does get the hybrid Toyota badge. And then behind that badge is the uh, dynamic radar cruise control sensors. Kind of a gray grill here and then more of the same up here. So really like a three tier front grill on the uh, RAV4 for 2022. As I mentioned, the color on this one is Blueprint. Surprising that Toyota doesn't charge extra for it, but it is a no charge color. Up here in the windshield, that's where you'll find the sensor box for the dynamic, or I'm sorry, the lane tracing, pre-collision, pedestrian detection, road sign detection. And then this one has the cold weather package or the all weather package. So it has electronic front window uh, the icer on it as well. Let's go ahead and swing around here to the driver side. Now all of the RAV4s do have uh, over fenders and that's going to be this plastic protection here over the fenders and this is the same as we saw down on the lower bumper. It does have wheel splats on the front side of those and also um, Vortex generators back on the back side. Those are easy to replace as well. Just a couple twists of a screwdriver and you could replace them yourself if you have a screwdriver. Here's your uh, new uh, wheel finish for 2022. It's the same wheel design, but now it's kind of uh, painted maybe like a metallic gray. So it's not quite silver but like last year, but more of a darker gray metallic. Chrome lug nuts, Toyota badge, four wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes independent front and rear suspension. Uh, this is the all-wheel drive edition. And then this particular tire is a 225-65 series tire. So a little wider sidewall, a little bit smoother ride. And it's a 17 inch wheel and tire. McPherson struts up front with coilover uh, springs. As I say, it is a fully independent front suspension and does have a pretty darn nice ride. Your outside mirrors, they're painted color to match, so blueprint. They do fold in if you've got a tight garage or parking space. And then they also break away. So if somebody comes and clips it with a bike or grocery cart, it's gonna minimize damage. We do have blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. Also, these mirrors are heated and power uh, operated. Chrome trim up over the window sills with a gloss black rail system, roof rail. We do have the sunroof on this one as well. Kind of a matte black finish here on the B pillar, scratch and dent resistant. So if you're slamming the door, you're less likely to scratch up your paint. We do have colored to match door handles with the smart keyless entry system. So you don't need to take your keys out of your pocket. Just as long as you have them on your person, just grab the door handle and away you go. I like the lower rocker panels on the RAV4. It's a nice wide body side protection adds to the rugged look to, of the uh, RAV4, kind of that off-road rugged look, but it also adds a lot of protection down on the lower doors. The great part about this is you can remove these fairly easily. They just come off here. You can see they're over the door panel, 
So if you do curb it right here, or your kids throw it into the curb or something, you can switch those out and you don't need paint work because they come in that color. And then you can see that protection goes all the way down to the bottom of the rocker panel as well. Now this is the all-wheel drive edition, so you get all-wheel drive badging. For 2022, they removed the hybrid badging off the front fender, but left the uh, chrome all-wheel drive badge there as well. Privacy glass on all back windows. Gas door is going to be right here on the driver's side. We do have a color to match shark fin antenna up here, color to match high mounted spoiler, and then the trim here, this is going to be gloss black. And that's one of the differences between an LE and an XLE on the exterior trim. Your tail lights are surrounded by this gloss black trim all the way around. One of the vortex generators here on the side. Those are designed to keep down the road noise and help with fuel efficiency. And as we slide around to the back side of it, we'll go ahead and take a look here. As I mentioned, privacy glass on all the back windows. Third brake light's up here, it's an LED brake light. Rear window defrost, rear washer wiper. This upper panel right here is colored to match. When you get on the limited and some other grades, it might be silver. And then we've got a full complement of LED tail lights. Of course, again, the blue Toyota hybrid badge here. Backup camera here. And the XLE edition, you're going to have that uh, power lift gate. By the way, that is programmable to the height of your garage. So it doesn't open up too high and damage the car or the garage. And again, you do it, it is power operated and you can use your remote keyless entry to do that. The lower bumper is the same as we saw on the front bumper. And that's going to be that matte black finish, ABS plastic. You can see it wraps onto the tailgate as well. These are reflectors and then we have dual chrome exhaust tips. It's not a dual exhaust system, simply a styling effect or cue. And then here's a quick look up underneath so you can see your suspension. So let's go ahead and uh, head back up front, pop the hood, and take a look at the engine. Diving under the hood on the XLE Hybrid. Well, first of all, the uh, RAV4 has two engines available, the uh, gasoline and then the hybrid system here. Both models use the same gas engine. So this is the 2.5 liter, four cylinder, 16 valve uh, gasoline engine. It is on the hybrid, it's connected to a CVT automatic transmission. That's different than the full gas engine, which is a conventional transmission. So CVT transmission, 2.5 liter, 16 valve um, gasoline engine. This engine and the hybrid system combined uh, put out 219 horsepower and uh, almost 40 miles per, per gallon combined city highway. In an all-wheel drive uh, SUV, that's pretty darn good. Now the engine and the transmission, they have a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty on them. And uh, then over on this side is the hybrid mechanical uh, features. So all the mechanics of the hybrid system have an eight-year, 100,000-mile uh, warranty on them and then the battery has an all-new warranty uh, that is 10 years 150,000 miles so three warranties 560 on the gas and the transmission 8100 on the mechanics for your hybrid system and then 10 year 150 on the um, battery for the hybrid system and then of course every Toyota comes with Toyota care which covers basic maintenance so you've got your oil changes your fluid top-offs and your tire rotations. Toyota's gonna cover those at no additional charge for two years or 25,000 miles. And then finally, we have a three or 36,000 mile limited warranty that in, that's designed to cover other manufacturer issues or defects. And so it's a really good warranty package, of course, on a terrific number one selling SUV in America, the RAV4. So let's go ahead and uh, dive inside and check out the interior. Heading inside, we'll stop on the door here first and 
take a look at some of the features here. So this one has the uh, light gray interior. And so the upper door panel is a very light color. It is a padded armrest. Love the uh, silver door handle with the silver trim around the, uh, the door handle itself. The uh, backside of here is textured, so it's slip resistant. Also, uh, we have one touch up and down on all four windows. These are backlit switches, power door locks, power mirrors all here. Bottle holder down in the door. There's a speaker down here in the door as well. As far as the seating goes, on the standard XLE trim, power driver's seat with power lumbar support, side airbags built right into the seat so they slide back and forth with you as you move the seat forward. The seats are going to be a cloth seat with the dark insert and the light surround. There's a little bit of a pattern hint in the seat as well. Perhaps you can see that in the video. We have height adjustable headrest as well as height adjustable seat belts. Side curtain airbags as well for all outboard passengers. The dashboard is primarily black but then we do have a solid bar of this light gray going all the way across even over to the passenger side. Interesting thing about the fact about the dash is this is a soft tech fabric dash and it's actually stitched onto the mold and then put on top of here. So this is actually stitcher, stitched fabric. Silver trim around your vents. There's four of them up and down and also left, right, on and off. Not all vents have on and off switches, so that's a bonus. There's a little bit of a storage cubby down here for your pocket change. And then we have a variety of switches here, including the dimmer switch for the dash lights, automatic high beams on and off, the electronic front window de-icer, heated steering wheel, and those are part of an upgrade package, power lift gate control, and then we do have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It's not power. Uh, but it does telescope, which can be super handy. Let's go ahead and grab a seat. So starting off, wanted to let you know I pretty much got my camera touching my nose. So you can see the visibility from the driver's compartment. These outside mirrors are huge, so not a lot of blind spots. And when I put the seat all the way back myself, if I look down here, I can barely even touch the pedals. So... Sure, I'm 5'7", so I'm shorter than the average bear, but it um, does have pretty darn good uh, leg room. So the XLE does come standard with the uh, leather-wrapped steering wheel. This one has the heated steering wheel, which is part of the cold weather package on the RAV4. Driver's side airbag, Toyota badge, and more of that silver trim that we uh, saw over here on the doors. Left-hand side has controls for the information center, which is up here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity, smart uh, voice activation, and volume for your sound system. Then over on this side, we've got our cruise control, dynamic radar cruise control settings, lane departure on and off, and our radio set, uh, station settings there as well. Wiper controls up here. We have intermittent wipers up front and on the rear deck. And then over on this side, We've got our headlight controls here with automatic on and off, as well as those automatic high beams we talked about earlier. Take a quick look at the gauge cluster. I'm just going to uh, start it up so you can see what it looks like when it does start up in the morning. Foot on the brake. This is the smart keyless entry system, so I don't have to put a key in ignition. I can just put my foot on the brake and go ahead and start it up. Now, depending on whether the engine thinks it needs to turn on or not, not the gas engine, it will take care of itself. On the left-hand side, we've got our, our uh, energy monitoring system for charge, eco, and power. Engine temperature is here. On the right-hand side, we've got a speedometer and our gas gauge, and the gas door is going to be on the driver's side. And then right in the middle is where we have the information center, and that's going to have your uh, trip computer, it's going to have your safety uh, settings for lane tracing assist, pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, road sign assist. Lots of different personalization settings there. Let's see if I can block that out so you can see it. But there it is right there. So you can set all of those things and you control them right here on the steering wheel. Heading over to the center stack. Um, this is the standard sound system. It is kind of a tablet style. 
I will say it doesn't obstruct your view from behind the wheel. Um, it, the the quality of it is acceptable. I think it could be a little more uh, clear. You can touch and move through some of your systems. You can do your trip in information, take, take a look at your energy, your history. So a lot of great features as far as that goes. Uh, go back home and we have a menu with a audio phone and a small app suite and then if we go over to the audio settings AM FM and XM satellite radio you get three months of the platinum subscription at no charge uh, and then it's Apple CarPlay Android Auto and Alexa compatible it's a decent sound system for the average person I think it's gonna be just fine if you're an audiophile you probably want to going to want to go up to the JBL audio system heading down the uh, center stack here we've got our automatic heating and air conditioning so we've got front driver and passenger settings I love these huge dials that they have on here and they're also rubber coated so they're slip resistant super easy to reach over while you're driving the car and change the radio stations and rate or change the temperature raise the volume uh, no controls on the steering wheel anymore for heating and air conditioning maybe that's why they made these larger but they're super easy to find drivers passenger settings front window defrost which by the way we also have that electronic front window de-icer rear window defrost which also activates uh, the heated outside mirrors over there it's an interesting feature over here this one right here that turns off the heating and air conditioning to the passenger compartment so if you have nobody over here you can turn that on and that'll uh, help a little bit with fuel economy lots of ways to save gas in the RAV4 as I said the hybrid up to 40 miles per gallon so pretty darn good I'm gonna go ahead and shift it in reverse I want to show you the uh, backup camera on here so we'll do that so there's your backup camera I wanted to point out it does not have path projection so it doesn't determine which way you're going but it is pretty bright and uh, nice wide view so you should be able to see if anybody is behind you going back down to the center area here we have traction control on and off heated seats up front with two different temperature settings there's a 12 volt outlet down here and then a USB charging outlet down there as well this is not wireless charging it's just a place to throw your odds and ends maybe drop your your smartphone as I mentioned before this is a CVT automatic transmission parking electronic parking brake parking brake hold we also have electronic steering by the way and then these controls have to do with the way your transmission shifts depending on your preference so let's take a look we have trail mode right here then we have and there's just a little bit of a uh, visualization up here in the gauge cluster I'll show you that here so if you look here it says trail and then there's kind of a rock pile down at the bottom and when I switch between the two it comes and goes so that's your visual cue for that and then the other thing we have is we have our eco normal and sport mode so if I turn this dial to eco go back up to the gauge cluster you can see it everything turns green if I go back to normal it goes away and then if I go to sport it all turns red so you can dial all your preferences here and then you have that visual indicator up above EV mode is right here just to give you some clarity on EV mode EV mode is for super slow speeds. so like if you're backing out of your garage or you're in a parking garage hit EV mode it'll run on electric only how I found it to be helpful is if I want to just sit in my car and listen to the radio maybe I'm listening to a podcast if I hit that that'll turn off the engine and save me gas um, I think the people who really like this feature are private investigators tap that and they can sit in their car all day and spy on their clients silver trim here and this is leather wrapped as well also uh, dual cup holders down here here's our keyless entry see it says RAV4 on there of course you get two of those with the RAV4 take a look at our armrest this is a padded armrest it's I think big enough for two arms underneath there's uh, a nice amount of storage and then there's also let me turn off my light here two USB uh, C ports and you can see they're backlit kind of a pale blue so you can see them at night head over and take a look at the uh, passenger seat it's going to be the same as the driver's seat 
And then this one does have the power sliding moonroof. It's part of the package that includes the electric tailgate in the back. I think it's like twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. We do have a passenger assist grip here, side curtain airbags, lighted vanity mirrors, visors with visor extensions on both front visors, and then overhead uh, map lights, moonroof controls, safe, uh, safety connect. So if you need help out on the road, hit that button. Toyota will get you roadside assistance. And then the rear view mirror is this is the standard rear view mirror. It's the old flip a switch does not have garage door openers built in it that is an option this one just does not have it there is a nice storage cubby down here on the dashboard then we have a glove box with a key lock not all of the Toyotas have key locks on their glove boxes and the key lock the key to do that is actually stowed away in this key fob right here so you kind of have to use this get it out and then lock it if you do want to lock it the armrest does not lock but the glove box does so let's go ahead and uh, jump in the back seat and check that out diving into the back seat the door uh, panel is very similar to what we saw up front the only difference is down here it has a RAV4 badge on the door on the speaker and I didn't see that up front so um, same seats in the back I, before I jump in I did want to show you that these seats recline so right now both of them are reclined back but if you pull on the handle up here you can bring it more upright and you can see it brings it up about two inches upright so that can be helpful if you're taking a long trip headrests are removable these seats do fold down just like so don't have to take the headrest to get them to fold out to get them to fold down so that's kind of helpful the entryway is pretty nice and wide in here the batteries under this back seat for the hybrid system jump inside here here's a quick look up front the driver's compartment with your power moon roof we do have a speaker on the back seat here here but nothing over here and then down here spe uh, vents there's no temperature controls but you can turn them on and off and adjust them and then there's two actually two USB ports down there as well. Passenger assist grips back here, uh, clothes hooks, overhead light, three seat belts, folding armrest uh, back here as well. There's a, a lot of headroom and a lot of knee room. It's really a very spacious back seat. I think you could fit three adults in here pretty comfortably for a night out on the town. Probably wouldn't want three adults back here for a trip to California from Wisconsin, but it's it's pretty comfortable, and I think uh, most adults will be just fine back here. Let's go ahead and jump in the trunk. Heading into the trunk, this uh, model does have the power lift gate on it. This opens up quite nicely up and out of the way. That the uh, doorway is really unobstructed with a nice uh, low lift over height. Now the XLE does come standard with the retractable cargo cover slides in like so and it's spring loaded and friction fit so you don't have to have tools to take it out you just pull it out like that boom away you go this can actually stow uh, down under the floor here but I'm going to set it aside for right now by the way this one does have the all-weather floor liners also that's an added uh, cost but I strongly recommend them if you live in the northern states so Cargo light here, USB or a 12 volt power outlet here, a little storage cubby over on this side, and then a nice low floor with tie down hooks in all four corners. Of course the seats fold down. You can fold them down from here, but if you have really short arms, you're probably not gonna be able to do it. Better to walk up front, but I can do it. Give it a push, and away it goes like so. Once you do that, there is a tremendous amount of space in here I'm sure you could throw a single air mattress in here if you were looking to do an overnight should be no problem I want to take it camping now down underneath the uh, floor here is where we find our temporary spare tire jack and tool kit tool kits over here there's room underneath here for emergency equipment jumper cables blankets first aid kits what have you flares should all fit under there quite nicely. Now I'm going to show you a, 
a unique feature to this. Notice the back side of this is a hard plastic. The front side is carpeted. You can pull this out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. I've done it before. You can slide this out like so, turn it around, and then bring it back up and use it reverse if you need to, if you have something you know, uh, messy or what have you. And then it also slides in. You'll notice it slides in down here on the lower track. And all you have to do is push it in. And so if you need some extra uh, height, cargo height, you can do that. So that's kind of a hidden feature. Not sure everybody knows about it, but it is nice. And let's say you have some hard uh, water softener salt and you want to put it in there, you're going to be able to do that. So really great feature and a lot of room inside the uh, RAV4 back seat, especially when you drop those down. So there you go. That's the uh, 2022 Toyota RAV4 XLE edition. Blueprints the color on this one. Of course, this one sold just like all the others. Hey, if you want to buy a Toyota, get with your Toyota dealership. They have inventory available, but most of it sells before it gets to the store. So check with them and put your order in. Looking at probably three months or so before you'll see your vehicle. So if you're waiting for them to show up, they're probably not gonna show up at the dealership. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and share. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.